Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Gordon Benzie on the line. He's Director of Marketing and Communications over at iBase T. Gordon, welcome to the show. Hi, Adam. Thanks for having me. So I'm excited to get into what you're doing over at iBase T, um, but before we do that, let's get a little bit further into your background. So how did you get started in your career in business? Well, it's been a long and winding road to be the best way I would describe it. So I started in finance working in the real estate industry uh, back uh, in the day. That seems like a good decision. And, you know, after a, after about a, a decade or so in, in that sort of a role, I kind of came to the conclusion it really wasn't where I wanted to be and I needed to make some changes. So I got my MBA and shifted over into more of a marketing role serving in the technology industry. So quite a 180 to do. So anybody that tells you you can't change your career uh, is they're they're not true. It's not true. You, know, you certainly can if if you really have the the desire and the the passion to do. For about the past 15 years or so, I've been uh, serving in the manufacturing software industry in a marketing capacity and really marketing and awareness. The two go hand in hand. Uh, and specifically, um, if, you, if you imagine, if you look around at all the products that manufacturers make today, they're complicated. And mm -hmm. so the days are gone when it would be an easy thing to make out widgets or whatever sort of product from 50 years ago. It, that just doesn't exist today. So most manufactured products are heavily reliant on software to help simplify the process, to help make sure that they're safe, that they're made well, and that they can then scale the production consistently. And so it's been an exciting time. I, I, I'm, I got lucky in um, jumping in at a time when the industry was going through what we're calling the fourth industrial revolution that's occurring today. You go back about 100 years ago, it was one of the first revolutions where it was really water and steam power was first used to mm -hmm. make things because you could have greater strength in, in producing that. And the second revolution was when mass production, the assembly lines, we all know Henry Ford and his famous quote, you can have any color as long as it's black. Because That's my favorite when... one. I tell everybody that at my company that we're a small team of five, and I tell them that all the time. I'm like, we can going to have any color as long as it's black. That lets them know that they, they're not going to – because, you know, you get so many ideas. And this, hey, how about this? How about that? Is that because the color black? And they already know what I'm talking about. I love that quote. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Gordon. I had to tell you because they'll crack up when they yeah. hear this. I... <laughs> oh, it's the classic production line quote, isn't it? Because And he made his, barrels his of whole money. Barrels model. of money before changing right. literally right and 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 you scale so you can go at a huge high volume if everything's the same absolutely and, and no one did it better than henry ford back in the day you know then the 70s come along and the computers right so we, we get the pcs and the computing power in its early stages in the 70s and then in the 80s and the 90s you start getting a little more complicated about it you start customizing and saying, well, you can have it in a different color. And in fact, we'll give you a different bumper. We'll give you a different stereo trim. We'll give you different windows. You know, the, the complexity started increasing quite a bit. Um, and that's the third industrial revolution. What's exciting now is the fourth one. And really, what's the variable that changed? It's the Internet. The Internet has allowed the access and transference of a lot more data that can be used in so many different ways. It can be used to better manage quality on your production line. You can actually now, if you're working with a bunch of suppliers, you can get specs on the parts 
that are necessary for your final product. You can see how that's coming along. You can monitor it. You can do your quality testing before you've even taken receipt of the parts. Wow. So that's that's pretty amazing on with regards to improving productivity. But couple that in an environment where you're literally making almost products of one that you can do. It's it's exciting. You know, I'm a I'm a big car guy, so Porsches are near and dear to my heart, and I think it's really cool that if you want to go and buy a new Porsche, you can tell them the exact color that you want them to make it in. And as long as you get at the right time of the production line, and there's there's variables there, but as long as you fit that window, they will make you a car and they will paint it to your color. I mean, how cool is that? Man, so, we've, come a long, we've come a long way from any color till it's black. Now we're like, you got whatever you want, just dig it, and we're good. Man, I love that. I love your, your perspective. I want to get into a little bit from what you're doing over at iBase T. Let's tell us a little bit more about the company there, please. Yeah. Yeah. So probably not a company that most of you would have heard of, and that's okay. That's indicative of where marketing is at today. And in the same way that manufacturers are selling almost a product of one to an individual buyer, as a marketer, we're focused on, we just need to find the customers, the passionate customers that understand and need our service, and they know who we are. And so that's that's how it is with iBase T. So iBase T is a software company. We're located in Orange County in Southern California, which I've been fortunate enough to live for my whole career and happy happy to have that opportunity. And uh, And so what we do is we serve a specific industry the complex, discrete manufacturing industry. So mm. in easy terms, we make sure complex products are built right and that they stay that way. So think, what's a big, complex product? Well, an airplane. An airplane is a big, complex product and, ironically, a product of one. <laughs> it may have a couple thousand parts or even tens of thousands of parts on it, but in the end, it's one product. It's one product that's got to get out the door. It's got to be certified that it has been made according to plan, that it meets all the specifications and the safety requirements, and that meets the specs of the buyer, right? So the, the original equipment manufacturers, the people like Boeing and Airbus, they, they make the plane and they sell it to the airlines or the leasing companies that finance it. And so, our software is used in the production process to keep track of all that complexity, streamline it, simplify it, and basically give directed instructions to the work, the workers in part of the workflow to make sure that the steps are all followed, that the right instructions are followed. And this is all done in an environment where you could have design changes that could happen two to three times a week, which over six months, a lot of changes. So imagine wow. you're going to go and make something, right? And, and, it, and it keeps changing. And, and something that's so important that has to be right, you can see how complex it would be. So that's what we do. And we've, we've built ourselves a, a niche in that market. And we do well. And so we've got a lot of happy customers. And that's, that's the basis of our business. So you, um, of course, I mean, you have a, a long marketing PR background and perspective. Um, I'm interested to hear your, your take from this angle. Um, how, what, what's interesting really in kind of technology and what's taking place um, currently? Because you're obviously, um, you, just have, you just have a unique vantage point. Yeah. Well, I think the only, the only constant is change, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know who first said that quote, but uh, that is certainly the case with technology. It's a blessing and a curse. It's, it, it's a blessing in that there's always a new opportunity. There's always new ways of reaching out to your prospects, reaching out to your customers. At the same time, it's always changing, so you have to keep learning. You know, I think that I'll always be reading new books, mm -hmm. attending new conferences, reading blogs, listening to podcasts such as yourself. You know, this is just, I've come to the conclusion that I've had to do that as part of my career to just stay on top.
top of things. Um, and then you get, you know, you have a little creative side on you. Then you, you hear something new, maybe that somebody else is doing. And then you think, okay, that maybe that's something that could work for us. And so you try it, you measure it, you see how it performs. If it gives you some results, do it some more. And so kind of have to be okay with a little bit of the uncertainty there, knowing that at the, at the end, as long as I've learned something from it, it's, it's all good. And so from the, um, if somebody's listening to this, Gordon, and if they want more information on uh, iBase T, where to connect and to learn more, um, what's the best way for them to follow up and, and to learn more about it? Yeah, sure. I, um, I'd be happy. And, and I was just thinking there, uh, I wanted to add to something to my the last but, question, if that's but, okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, I was thinking about uh, reflecting on on my career and words of wisdom to share with those maybe that are just starting out or maybe in, in the middle of their career. There's things like, what would be the three things that I would tell someone along those lines? And, and I can't give it some thought, and, I, and I give, I'll give you a read it here, listeners, those three the three points. The, the first one is, I'm a firm believer that details matter. And it's, it's especially in a communications because, you know, part of the, the role of PR is awareness and brand building. And in the end of the, at the end of the day, it's all about the brand because mm. there's so much competition out there. There's so much noise that's in the marketplace that you have to repeatedly position and message to your brand and your value statements over and over and over and over again. And that's where the details matter. Details matter in everything. I'm, I'm convinced in personal things, personal success and hobbies all the way to your career. And paying attention to those details, it'll pay off in the end. So that'd be my first point. Mm. The second one is, and it's kind of what we, we talked about before, and I heard somebody reference it this way, and I thought it was well said, is, Learn how to be rigidly flexible. And so what that means is you have to have the passion in what you're doing. And with that passion, it comes a focus and almost, my wife would say, stubbornness. But mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a way that you can lock onto something and persevere through the hard times. But at the same time, when new information comes available, you have to learn to be flexible to change direction and pivot. And Finding that balance is something that I think leads to a successful career over the long run. And then the third one I think I already talked about is just continuing to learn the importance of that and the importance of continuing to be, be in the middle of where conversations are occurring because this world, it keeps changing and especially in technology and it just ripples through to everything else. So that would be it. Um, on how to get a hold of me, I think LinkedIn is a great way. I think I have a public profile, so you can find me there. Um, my Twitter handle is at, at GBNZ. Um, you can certainly also reach us. IBASE T is as it sounds, www.ibasept.com. And you can find more about what we do as a software company and uh, always interested in, in having conversations with people. And that's awesome. Well, hey, Gordon, I um, really appreciate you coming on the show today and uh, share, not only sharing your tips, but also your background and your insights from the PR angle and also all the great work you're doing over at iBase T. Um, uh, good insights there. Uh, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review, uh, do all those great things we do to support our podcasters. I really do appreciate it. And uh, Gordon, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you, Adam. It was a pleasure.